Chief Landis, so you pull somebody over because they didn't signal their intention on the road, and when you go up to the window, you notice there's a, a open container of alcohol. That person's in trouble. But what if there was a half-smoked marijuana joint? Is that person in trouble? So there's actually a law that pertains to operation motor vehicle with an open container, so under a state statute, we would cite you for that violation. <clears throat> what changed on July 1st, as far as marijuana goes, is you're actually allowed now to possess, outside of your home, up to an ounce of marijuana. So if there was a half-smoked joint in the ashtray, as long as you're not impaired driving down the road with that, there's absolutely no offense now that applies to that less than um, ounce of, or up to an ounce of marijuana that's inside or, the vehicle. Or it if it's not a really big joint. Right. But wh- why is there a difference? Chong, yes, right. Yes. Wh- why is there a difference between uh, a half-consumed bottle of scotch and a half-consumed marijuana joint? Why is there any difference? And you raise a great question, and sometimes the laws don't catch up. So because we've just come online with July 1st with this new law as far as recreational marijuana, um, my guess is, as I've watched the law in the last 25 years, you're going to start to see things evolve, too, as we start to learn and the state legislature starts to learn and decides to make decisions. You know, organizations like uh, Mothers Against Drunk Drivers has drastically changed how we interpret alcohol over the years, and some of those laws, I would say, and some of the enhancements have come as a result of their efforts seeing the seriousness of drinking and driving, especially with youth. Uh, when I first started 25 years ago, if we came upon a uh, a party of kids who were consuming alcohol and stuff, we would have them dump out the alcohol. We were busy sometimes, and so no big deal. Um, when we got better educated and when Mothers Against Drunk Drivers got to get um, people on board to see the seriousness of what was happening, um, we don't do that anymore. Zero tolerance for many years now as far as kids drinking and that kind of thing. And I would use that analogy to say I would say that with marijuana, if things start to not be successful the way it's originally implemented, you'll start to see tougher laws or things requiring much like you just said with the open container in a motor vehicle. There's the Boatnik Parade every year, and you can occasionally see as the as the floats go by that there are people on the side that are maybe drinking a little beer and having a good time. There's no one running over and arresting them while they're doing that. Uh, even though there's a rule against consuming alcoholic beverages in public. Is the same thing going to happen with the smoking of marijuana along the parade route? No, I. You know, the one thing you have to remember is we're not turning a blind eye to things. You know, the, the, the parade and what goes on at the parade and stuff, anytime we would see something that we need to take action, we would. Um, we have to look at the totality of the circumstances. You know, officer chasing a float down the, the the path may not be so wise, but we certainly even use parade officials to help us with rules and regulations so that participants in the parade adhere to safety. And you know, over the years, we've had people get on it with their race cars and stuff, and you know, you've got 10,000 people lining the parade route in estimation, and not a safe thing to have something happen. Or And alcohol is not always a good mix for large crowds and things happening. So we're not turning a blind eye. And I would say this, that if somebody's smoking marijuana in public, which is a violation of the way the law is intended. It definitely uh, infringes upon other people's rights because of the odor and smell. Some people take offense to it, and we would not be turning a blind eye to that either. So it's not either or. We treat one differently. We take action anytime we feel like we see something and it needs to be dealt with. It's interesting about this thing about odor, because if I suddenly felt that I liked the smell of a smudge pod, smudge pod, can I carry that around town? Yes. <laughs> 